What's up, comic fam, comic fans, and it's time for that preview show. It's time to preview the books coming out February 22nd, all right? February 21st, some shops may be releasing DC books on that Tuesday. Everybody else, Wednesday, February 22nd. So we're going to get into the books. We got spec books. We got spotlight books. We got FOC books. We got this upcoming week's books right after this. Spartans, what is your profession? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. All right, if you like comics, hopefully you're in the place to be. Let's get into comics coming out this week. First off, you know how we do. We're going to do the spec books. All right, we have from Whatnot Publishing. This is the first time I've ever put a Whatnot book on my spec list. Maybe the last time, I don't know. But we have Liquid Kill. All right, Liquid Kill just seems like a fun kind of book. All right. It's uh, cyberpunk-ish, right? Uh, it says, Ghost in a Shell meets John Wick. That sounds really cool. Um, the writer, Max Hoven, is from It Eats What Feeds It. Uh, artist, Gabriel Lumazark, who's worked for Boom Studios. Um, Tony Infante on the cover. You got David Mack doing a cover. I don't know. It just seems cool, all right? Um, and it seems like something that could become an anime or something to that effect. But here you go, Liquid Kill with all these awesome covers. All right, that's my first spec pickup for the week. I know you get it. Oh, it's cool. How does that make it a spec? Um, <laughs> I think sometimes when you have things that are visually appealing and you have a, a young hungry creative team behind it you got the the makings of something really cool i can see this turning into an animated series remember you heard that here first folks <laughs> all right next up we have nightwing number 101 why is this a spec book we have the first new uh the premiere of the new teen titans team who's going to be on this team might just be the same team with the same teams as the past but we may have a slightly different team okay here are the characters lined up for this team looks familiar to the tv show right but we'll see so this is a start of a new teen titans not even new teen titans new titans team all right operating out of bloodhaven nightwing 101 could bring us something cool i don't know all right now let's get into the spotlight book. We have Local Man number one. You got Stray Dog creator Tony Flex or Fleeks and uh, Tim Seeley joining together for this. And uh, here, here you, we'll just read this part right here. Once the star recruit of the media sensation super team third gen, Jack Xavier had it all, but when controversy sends Cross Jack crawling back to his mom and dad's basement in the Midwest, Jack struggles to fit in the world he left far behind, and then the bodies start piling up. Alright. Local man. It just seems like a a good fun book, alright, with two really good creators behind it. I believe Tony is going to handle the main uh, portion of the book, and then Tim's going to kind of do the uh, the back work, the the secondary stories, and that kind of stuff. We'll see how it works out between these two really good creators. But you have Local Man number one. All right, time for those FOC books. First up, we have The Last Barbarian. It was just a really good book, really fun book to read. It's um why foc well, if you didn't get issue one which came out this week get issue one and then make sure you grab issue two so you can read even further into the story of Sylv, the barbarian who's you know trying to make a path for herself but do it her way all right and then next up we have the amazing spider-man Ooh, and this one i mean just look at the cover right um who is this mysterious figure what do they have to do with peter's and mary jane's disappearances we could have a new villain i don't know but this cover just looks awesome and if it's not a new character well they've got a really awesome look this character okay whoever this turns out to be i just 
Oof, I just look at that and I, and I want that cover. All right, we're getting into the rest of the books coming out this week. As always, we start with Image. Let's go. Uh, 20th Century Man. I've heard some good stuff about that. You got Art Brute. Heard a lot of good stuff about Art Brute. You have second printings of issues one and two. All right, let's keep it. Let's keep the ball rolling. You got Ice Cream Man number 34. That just keeps on going. Inferno Girl, Red Book, uh, two of three. Junkyard Joe, I've heard also good things about. That's on issue number five. Philadelphia. Um, that was an awesome series. Still is an awesome series. Check it out. And uh, Local Man, which we talked about. I'm going to grab that. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to order it right now. Boom. I just hit this button, hit order, and I'm going to get it from my LCS. Not all of you can do that through pull box, but some of your shops may have set it up. So go ahead and give it a try. Magic order. A lot of people love the magic order. It's on the third. It's on, oh, it's on the fourth. Fourth volume. All right. Plenty of books coming out of image this month you got some spawn some scorched that spawn unwanted violence issue number one gets a second printing and you have issue number two coming out and undiscovered country is coming back we'll see if i stick with that but it was pretty it's pretty interesting to start off with boom studios boom here comes the boom ready or not plenty of books coming out of boom including turtles and power ranger crossover and uh, Something's Killing the Children, issue number 29. All right, we're at Dark Horse. And what do we got coming out of Dark Horse? You got some uh, Avatar trade. Blue Book, which seems to be a new new series, number one. You got some cyberpunk stuff. And uh, yeah. Some Witcher stuff if you like The Witcher. IDW, Earth Divers is on issue five. The premise for that seemed really cool. I have yet to read issue one. I have to catch up to that. All right, we're on DC Comics, and you got Detective with a trade. You got Batman One Bad Day. The Clayface gets this one. All right, World's Finest has a fun cover. Maybe I'd like to see what's behind this one check please all right we're gonna keep going catwoman but it's Iko Iko Hasegawa as catwoman on the cover that's a DNA David Nakayama cover does some good work I also like this the Sweeney Boo it's interesting it's fun very reminiscent of stray dogs except with cats uh, what else you got? Deceased War of the Undead Gods. That's on issue six of eight. All right, that's Deceased is usually a pretty fun series. Flash, which a lot of people have been, you know, giving kudos to, with uh, One Minute War, and even before that, people were enjoying Flash. Lazarus Planet Omega is coming out. You know, you can throw all these Lazarus planets on a uh, on a spec list because there's always some new characters showing up in these books all right uh, what else do we have so we keep going 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 get that nightwing 101 which we talked about superman number one okay that's that's a new one that's probably one to check out i feel like they might be going in the right direction with superman these days so we'll see and look they have a ton of covers they are going all in on Superman what else you got you got Titans United issue number six of six uh, honestly that's the first time I've heard about that <laughs> right we're at Marvel Comics and you got amazing spider-man number 20 all right some cool covers there this is the second part of a uh, two-parter with guest writer and artist you got Captain Britain number one coming out this week all right, I think Marvel's trying to push that forward. Immortal X-Men number one with some dope covers. That might be worth a, a check as the White Queen's gonna be bringing it to Mr. Sinister. All right, 
what else do we have i mean there's a ton of stuff guys i mean there's something for everybody you got savage avengers dr afra okay um that's been a good series so many good comics out these days it's hard to to really focus in on a few couple good ones dynamite all right it's time for dynamite you got that darkwing duck action with number two a lot of people really went out and bought those those uh number one issues especially the merca and Dolfo cover all right gargoyles is up to issue three i haven't seen too many people stick with gargoyles i mean a lot of people also got gargoyles number one and uh then you got some vampirella all right we're off to the rest of the books coming out this week you got abolition man that was an ai generated comic uh, I believe the artwork was uh, Barbaric number two, Hell to Pay. All right, they're going to hell to save Owen. That seems like a, a fun read. The rest of the Barbaric books have been very good up to this point. I don't see why it would slow down now. All right. Some more uh, Batman Spawn, some Captain Marvel. These are all Dynamic Forces orders you can get from Dynamic Forces through your LCS. Alright, what else do we have as we make our way through all these books? We're almost there and hopefully guys I've uh, given you some ideas about what books are coming out this week. So you can go to your comic shop and uh, you know, tell them what you want. There you got Liquid Kill right there, definitely worth a look you know what let me see if I can order it boom I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the order button and we're gonna see if I can get it I really haven't seen my my comic shop with uh, whatnot publishing books so we'll see if I can get it there's a ton of covers too um, I mean you even got this uh, Metal Gear Solid kind of homage cover so they are they're not pulling any punches with liquid kill what else we got i don't know so brick and morty if you like brick and morty there is something for everybody here guys and well, i think we're almost to the end comic fam comic fans so i hope you uh enjoyed this look into this week's books if you like comics, I think you're in the place to be. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. Go ahead and throw me a thumbs up and comment down below. Do what you do. I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to get ready for this week's books. Peace.